first, NBC5's Jenna King attended the state's virtual press conference. She's live in studio to break down what this means for you. Jenna? Craig Shelley, Governor Brown is signing an executive order today to make the idea of reopening a reality. But first, the state has to hit the 70% vaccination rate. It'll happen no later than next Wednesday. We will lift the safety protocols we have relied on and reopen our economy. The words many Oregonians have been waiting to hear. On Friday, Governor Brown signed an executive order lifting Oregon's COVID-19 framework in the coming days. It goes into effect when adult Oregonians reach the 70% vaccination rate, or by Wednesday, June 30th, whichever comes first. I'm so proud of our collective efforts to vaccinate more than 2.3 million Oregonians. It's because of these successes that we can move Oregon forward and into the next chapter of the pandemic. Under the new recovery order, masks will no longer be required statewide, but they will still be required in some places under federal guidance, including airports, public transportation, and healthcare settings. This doesn't mean all of Oregon is opening up. Individual businesses can still implement their own guidelines. As we transition to recovery, we must do everything we can to ensure we are equipped with the ability to remain nimble and resilient. Director of the OHA, Pat Allen, says moving forward, it will shift responsibility of managing COVID-19 to the local level. It'll be up to county commissioners who act as local health boards and local public health officials to intervene to slow the spread of COVID-19 in their communities. Local control will also decide how schools manage COVID come fall. So our next steps will be to work with Jackson County Public Health and talk with them about what makes sense. The great news is we don't start school with all of our students until August. MSD Superintendent Brett Champion says he wants to take time to get the decision right. So the fact that this, this new guidance gives us that local control working with our Jackson County Public Health friends um, is exactly what we've been after. And so we are thrilled. Well, COVID-19 isn't disappearing anytime soon, both Champion and the governor say this is a huge step in the right direction. Jackson County Public Health told us today it's still waiting on more guidance from the state on its next steps. Live in studio, Jenna King, NBC5 News.